So with the launch of the X299 chipset, as well as with the latest generation Kaby Lake X and Skylake X series of CPUs, there's always a certain set of users that are really looking to be able to have that sweet spot or the best price to performance to spec to feature and functionality ratio that's out there. And really for a lot of those users, this motherboard, the X299-A from our Prime series is really gonna be a perfect candidate. It compromises on very little while still offering the quality, reliability, durability, and high-end design that ASUS motherboards are known for. Now, while the X299-A is the entry into the XT99 series of Prime Series motherboards, it definitely doesn't look entry. It maintains a fresh and clean and modern design aesthetic. First and foremost, you predominantly see a nice, clean, bright white on the I.O. shroud and throughout the motherboard. And also, to slightly distinguish it from our Deluxe Series motherboard, features slight whiffs of light blue that are present within the board that still really complement that white contrast that's present throughout more portions of the motherboard. There are multiple RGB lighting zones built directly onto the motherboard, along with, of course, a dedicated ASUS or RGB header. Now, these, of course, fully support full synchronization with a wide range of ASUS Aura certified components, whether that's going to be ASUS graphics cards, keyboards and mice, as well as common accessories that you're going to have in your build, like RGB LED strips, Aura-enabled fans, chassis with integrated LED lighting, RGB-enabled memory, and many other items. It's equally as important that this board, first and foremost, doesn't compromise on quality and performance. And in this respect, the Dash A really offers you an outstanding VRM design, so that's going to be the power delivery section of the motherboard. Board. It, in combination with our digital power delivery and control implementation, allows you to have a huge amount of control and flexibility to be able to define outstanding performance and efficiency, whether at stock uh, settings or, of course, being able to ensure that you get outstanding stability and reliability at heavily overclocked based configurations. Now, continuing in the vein of overclocking, there's also memory, and this is another area where, once again, this board really shines, especially at its price point. So regardless of whether you're going to be running a 4DIMM configuration or an 8DIMM configuration, 32 gigabytes to 128 gigabytes, you're going to be able to reach frequencies from 3600 all the way up to 4000 megahertz, really allowing you to take advantage of that second generation memory controller in these latest generation Intel CPUs and really be able to take quad channel performance to a whole other level. Now, complementing the overclocking capabilities of this motherboard are actually going to be the extensive fan control functionality and flexibility that the board offers. And this comes in form of hardware and software and firmware within Fan Expert 4, which is once again part of the 5-way optimization suite. Now, whether you're going to jump into the UEFI or whether you're going to jump into the operating system to be able to run all the extensive fan controls that are available to you, this board really shines in terms of allowing you a lot of granularity and control at being able to set up your cooling experience and your acoustic experience for your fans just the way you want it. So CPU fan headers and chassis fan headers fully support both 3-pin and 4-pin control, meaning you can support DC fans as well as PWM fans. PWM is great, especially if you're going to be running multiple fans in group configurations like front intake fans or maybe top exhaust uh, type fan situations or maybe fans that are side mounted. Uh, you can go ahead and run a single fan uh, PWM splitter cable to one of these chassis fan headers, connect multiple fans to the other end, and then allow all those fans to be directly controlled by the motherboard. Now, in addition to this, we still maintain, of course, the ability to have full fan calibration and profiling. This means we can analyze the minimum operating speeds of the fan and the maximum operating speeds of the fan. This allows us to maximize the overall cooling performance of the fan, while also allowing you to have the optimal acoustic performance for each one of your fans. Now, if we're moving from the fan controls, let's talk a bit about the I.O. connectivity and storage options that are available on the board. You've got USB 2.0, USB 3.0, as well as USB 3.1, including USB 3.1, both Type A and Type C. And for the next generation of chassis that are now coming to the market, you also have full support for USB 3.1. One Gen 2 with that next generation interface header directly on the motherboard. Now, of course, for all your storage needs, the board fully supports traditional SATA based connectivity, PCIe and PCIe NVMe based storage devices. And of course, for the users that really are looking forward to the highest performing M.2 based solutions, the board's got you covered here with two M.2 slots that are built on board. Furthermore, they're optimally positioned on the motherboard to be able to be more thermally isolated so that you don't find them either one directly underneath the CPU socket as well as not directly underneath the primary physical by 16 slot. Now, an equally important part of the overall motherboard design and specification are going to be the actual audio implementation and the networking design on the board. And this is an area that I think definitely is important, especially in a board like the Dash A, where it could really be used for quite a number of different type of configurations, whether you're talking about a gaming build, whether you're talking about content creation, advanced productivity, or maybe a mix of all of those different types of scenarios. 
In this respect, we've gone ahead and leveraged the crystal sound design that we've had on our higher end series of motherboards and introduced it onto the Dash A. So here you still have a full isolated audio channel for left and right implementation. You have a shielded audio codec, the latest generation S1220A audio codec, and also a specially bin version of it that improves improved line in performance, which is great if you're utilizing an analog microphone. Now when it comes to networking, of course, the Prime series continues the tradition of using the really the industry standard and the best NICs out there, which is going to be the Intel uh, series of network adapters. Uh, these really have shown the absolute consistently best performance across a wide range of usage models, along with top shelf management options that are available in the Intel ProSet driver. Furthermore, to be able to improve upon the experience of how you can prioritize your networking uh, uh, files as well as your connections, the board does come included with packet priority software in the form of the TurboLAN application. This allows you to go ahead and prioritize different types of network packets for the best experience. So let's say if you're actively watching a video but you still want to be able to download something without compromising the stream, you can go ahead and do that easily. Or if maybe you're going to be uploading files while also downloading something and you want to minimize the effect on that, or you want to be able to uh, prioritize the latest game that you're jumping into on Steam, you can also do that. So all the way around, if you're really looking for that best bang for the buck X299 board, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out the uh, Prime X299-A.